and they cross paths with one another in the first game of 2023. A look at Will Trapp for Minnesota United. Robin Lowe with the first touch of the ball for Minnesota United. The visitors in the dark jerseys. FC Dallas at home in the white jerseys. And we are underway. Of course, things look different up top in addition to the absence of Emmanuel Reynoso due to suspension by the league for failure to report to training camp with personal issues in Argentina. But Luis Amaria is unavailable. He didn't even make the 20 tonight. He was gone this week. Mariola touching the ball to the right-hand side, playing out wide right now. The ball is sent into the box at the near post. That ends up being deflected wide by Paxton Pomacall. First of all, great job by Jesus Ferreira to get outside, looking to combine right here with Paul Ariola, And then Paxton Pomacol. FC Dallas needs to see more of this from him this season. He's Ibiaga never had a chance for it. Pomacol, who took the free kick, now goes to ground to recover possession for FC Dallas and stop a potential Minnesota United counterattack. Here's Will Trapp. And again, you see Pomacol involved in a rough challenge here and a yellow card for Will Trapp. To Will Trapp. Nice little dummy by Will Trapp. Here's a cross coming in from Valentin, and it's over the head of Mender Garcia. And dealt with by Sebastian Ibiaga. Held in here by Minnesota. Boxel part of holding it in. Valentin. Will Trapp. Trapp was booked with a yellow card for a rash challenge against Pomacall a moment ago. Here's Lawrence with a cross, and oh, Mark paused it. Looked like he read it very well, and it's into the side netting off the left foot of Longwane. Fragapane has stepped away from it. This looks like this is all on the right foot of Kervin Ariaga to deliver it. The run up for Ariaga, and from distance, this is a laser. Potts got a fingertip on it and tipped it off the bar. By the way, this is going to be a goal kick. Well, well struck, and you're absolutely right. Paws did get a touch to that one. Should have been awarded a corner kick. But how about that strike from Ariaga? Herrera has been taking them from this side. Velasco from the other. At the near post, here's St. Clair called into action. And he tips it over the bar. Well, I actually think it's Sebastian Legette who makes contact with that one. Martinez in the neighborhood as well. It's a great save by St. Clair. You know, maybe this is a, a sign of some good luck, but you look at the teams that exceeded their expected goal differential last season. Philadelphia. By far, number one in Major League Soccer. They exceeded their expected goal differential. Corner kick. Dane St. Clair coming up with the big save late in the first half. Martin Paz comes way out to play it. Valentin forward. Robin Lode. One of the differences you see between Robin Lode and Emmanuel Reynoso. Here's Ariaga lumping a ball forward. Fragapane off the volley, and the follow-up is in for Mender Garcia. Minnesota United early second half goal. A sizzler of a shot by Fragapane is beaten away by Paz, and then it's blasted home by Mender Garcia. 1-0 Minnesota United. From Franco Fragapane. Well on side here by Mender Garcia. Goes up to battle for it. So difficult to take that strike out of the air. And then Mender Garcia gets, spins off and gets in behind the back line. Strikes this on frame as well. I was coming into this second half critiquing Mender Garcia, saying he only had 10 touches. Back line is Ibiaga, Martinez is the center back. Tumasi is the right back carrying it forward right now. Herrera pings it outside. Ariola's got a chance to drive in across. And he starts sprinting towards the end line, and he's taken down by Mickey Tapias. Free kick, yellow card, by the way. On level at a young age to break through at that level for Argentina for their youth national team. FC Dallas just seems to get it right when it comes to youth, when it comes to developing not only their homegrowns, but when it comes to figuring out how to develop even players that they're bringing in from other ways and sell them on. They, they really got a knack for the pipeline that is Major League Soccer and being a real player on the global transfer market. Here's Minnesota winning it back. Juane and Fragapane both part of that. Bongo Hukle along Juane with a shot. Long range and easily dealt with by Martin Poss. Six minutes ago, Minnesota United struck for a goal by Mender Garcia. Angling 
run centrally by Pomacol. Now pushed forward by Tumasi. Out wide on the right is Ferreira. A little back heel by Ariola. Nicely done into the path of Ferreira. But the play's broken up between Will Trapp and Kervin Ariaga. And a whiff on the back pass by Ibiaga. And Minder Garcia has one. And he's got a chance at another. But Paz comes out and makes himself big enough to stop it right at the top of the box. Good work defending by Mungahukle Longwane. Down he goes after winning the ball back. Yellow card packs to Pomacol. Eight career goals. So noted when he came into the game, two of them, and they've been fantastic goals, have been scored in this stadium. Rosales curls in a free kick. Driven away by FC Dallas. Jose Martinez, the defensive header. Minnesota can recycle a ball in. It comes in from Valentin. And it's headed over the top. Part of why we love this game, right? There's a lot of different ways to get it done, and both of these teams found a way to get it done last year. We'll see if they can build on it here in 2023. is pushed off the ball. FC Dallas has already brought on one player for his MLS debut tonight. They're about to bring on another one. Jose Mulatto, striker from Colombia, is getting ready to come into the game. Here's Ariola sending it in. This will settle for Velasco. The touch took him a little wide. He curls it back centrally, takes a shot with the right foot and wide. Quality opportunities here. I love how he has the presence and of mind to cut centrally and gets that third touch. Action. Just the separation Monaco. he needs. That one isn't but a few inches away. Can't quite get the bend on. Two goals in 10 games. Robin Lode goes out. And Oluwashi goes in. The foul by FC Dallas leads to a free kick here. Ariaga has struck one wonderfully tonight. Is he going to take this one? He will, and he shoots through space right to Martin Poss. A clearance by Minnesota. This is going to fall for Ferreira, and it's immediately nudged off his feet. Surreal holds it in. Farfan challenged by Oluwashi. Velasco trying to reach it, and that's it. It is game over, streak over for FC Dallas, and one heck of a season opening win for Minnesota United.